Before the story begins, type in your name either by clicking on the letters or by using the keyboard. When you are finished, click on the top leaf. If you have to leave now, click on the bottom leaf. Oh, hello! Welcome to my magic garden. My name is Celinda. No need to tell me who you are. I already know. How? Because I'm your fairy godmother. Everybody has one, you know. And my favorite thing to do when I'm not tending my garden is to tell stories. What kind of stories? Why, fairy tales, of course. And today, I'd like to tell you the story of Rapunzel. If you'd like to listen while I tell the story, click on this pretty red rose. If you'd like to play along while I tell the story, just click on this lovely pink rose. To print pictures from the story that you can color yourself, click on the blue banner. To go to your favorite part of the story, click on the purple banner. And when it's time for you to leave my garden, just click on the gate. Once the story begins, you'll see a bookmark on every page that looks like this. To go on to the next page of the story, click here. To go back one page, click here. If you need a little help, just click on the shining sun. During the story, you'll help Rapunzel collect some things she needs. When you want to see what you've collected so far, just click on the velvet bag. If you want to leave the story, click on the gate. When you want to return to my garden for a visit, just click on this lovely rose. Now it's your turn to make a little magic. Good luck! Once upon a time, in a land far away, a beautiful princess was born. Her name was Rapunzel, and she was the most beautiful baby who had ever been seen in the kingdom. But there was an ugly old witch in the kingdom who hated anything that was beautiful. She lived alone in the darkest part of the forest, with only two wicked ravens for company. When she heard the news of how beautiful the new princess was, the witch went to see the baby for herself. The royal court gave Princess Rapunzel all of their attention, leaving none for the witch. Angry at being ignored and jealous of the infant's beauty, the witch used her evil magic to take a terrible revenge. One summer morning, the witch snatched up the little princess and flew away on her magic broom. They flew to a secret tower far away from the castle, where the witch locked baby Rapunzel inside. The tower had no doors or stairs. The only way in or out was a single window so high up that only the witch and the birds could fly through it. And there Rapunzel lived all alone, until she was no longer a child, but had grown into a beautiful young woman. Rapunzel had no human friends, but three birds, Twitter, Peep, and Cheep, visited every day. Her only other companion was Sullen, a grumpy magic mirror. Good 
morning Twitter. Any news today? Nothing unusual. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Isn't it a beautiful morning, Sullen? If you like sunshine, I suppose. The glare gives me a headache. I wonder what it's like out there, outside of this tower. The world can be a dangerous place, Rapunzel. Cats everywhere, you know? You're safe in your nest, even if you're not always happy. I guess so, but sometimes being safe just isn't very exciting. The tower had a little kitchen with magic jars and cupboards that were never empty and a bright copper pot bubbling over a cheery fire. One summer day, a handsome prince named Galen was traveling through the kingdom when he passed by Rapunzel's tower. Hello up there. Can I trouble you for some water? I've been on the road for hours. I'd love to help, but there's no way in or out of this tower. My hair might be long enough for you to use as a rope. Thanks. My name's Galen. And I'm Rapunzel. And if the witch finds out about this... <laughs> Galen visited every day. He told Rapunzel about the exciting places he had seen during his travels. They were very happy together, at least for a while. I've traveled everywhere in the kingdom, except the land across the sea. But I've never met anyone as wonderful as you. I'd like to see all those places, too. Maybe someday we can see them together. Hmm. Why Rapunzel's been so happy lately. I'll have to get rid of that meddling prince. When Prince Galen arrived the next day, he found Rapunzel in a deep sleep. Neither he nor her other friends could wake her. Rapunzel? Rapunzel, please, open your eyes. <laughs> what have you done to her? A wandering prince, I command you to be. And only Rapunzel can set your heart free. You'll never come back to where you have been. So you'll never see Princess Rapunzel again! <laughs> when Rapunzel woke up, she learned about the witch's evil spell. Galen was lost and could never find his way back to any place he had been before, even Rapunzel's tower. And only a kiss from you can break the spell. And I'll need to give him that kiss, won't I? But the prince can't find his way back here again. Then I'll have to find him. Twitter, I need a pair of scissors, and hurry. I hope you know what you're doing. It will take years for your hair to grow long enough to make another rope. It's a chance I have to take. Wish me luck! Because the spell kept Galen from returning to any place he'd been before, Rapunzel knew there was only one place he could possibly go. The land across the sea. It 
it's the only place Galen has never been before. Look, we can take this boat and sail across the sea. Wait, if you want to borrow my boat, you'll have to give me two silver shells. Silver shells? Where can I find them? Ask the dragon and the ogre, if you dare. Punzel found the dragon's cave deep in the forest. The dragon was very large, and Rapunzel knew she would have to be brave to get the silver shell. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a silver shell. Do you know where I might find one? I'll give you one, if you can prove yourself worthy. Help me sort my treasure, and you shall have your reward. Rapunzel did as the dragon asked and earned her first silver shell. You've done well. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you, ma'am. Punzel found the ogre's cottage, but the ogre was very grouchy. Maybe he would give her a silver shell just to make her go away. Excuse me, but I'm looking for a silver shell. Do you know where I might find one? Can't you see I'm busy? Go get it yourself. If you can find your way through my maze, nobody else has. Rapunzel found her way through the ogre's maze and earned her second silver shell. A silver shell? How did you... Uh, get out of my forest? Gladly. Thank you for the boat. Come on, Twitter. Once we get across the sea, we're sure to find Galen. After crossing the sea, Rapunzel came to a village where everyone was getting ready for a big wedding. She hoped that someone in this busy place had seen Galen. Have you seen a handsome prince on a white horse ride through here today? If I did, dearie, I'd keep him for myself. I saw a prince today. He was so handsome. If you can get me some bread for my geese and some ribbons for my hair, I'll tell you which way he went. Punzel went to the village bakery, where the baker was making a beautiful cake for the wedding. I'd like a loaf of bread, sir, but I'm afraid I have no money. No money, eh? Well, I need some help finishing up this wedding cake. The Duchess is getting married today, and this cake has to be at the castle within the hour. If you can help me, I'll give you some bread for free. Rapunzel finished the cake in time and earned a loaf of bread. Here's your bread, young lady. The bride will be delighted with her wedding cake. Thank you, sir.
Rapunzel went to the village dress shop, where she met a dressmaker hurrying to finish the bridesmaid's dresses in time for the wedding. I'd like some hair ribbons, but I have no money. Never mind. I need help finishing these bridesmaids' dresses. The wedding starts in less than an hour, and the dresses are all wrong. If you help me, I'll give you some ribbons for free. Rapunzel fixed the bridesmaids' dresses in time and earned some pretty ribbons. Here are the ribbons I promised. Now I've got to hurry and get these dresses to the castle. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I saw a handsome prince riding toward the woods just east of here. He looked like he was lost. That's him! I'd better hurry there now. Thank you! At long last, Rapunzel found Prince Galen, right where the girl said he would be. And with a kiss, Rapunzel broke the evil spell. Rapunzel, where... Uh, how did you find me? Well, I had a lot of help along the way. We'll never be completely happy as long as the witch is free. Everyone in the kingdom is afraid of her evil spells. I have an idea. Let's go back to the tower. Rapunzel and Galen returned home. They hid near the witch's house while Twitter helped carry out their plan for getting rid of the witch forever. Too bad Rapunzel left her diamond necklace when she escaped from the tower. It must be worth more than a chest full of gold. So far, so good. Diamond necklace, you say? <laughs> I'll be rich. It worked! Come on, let's follow her. While the witch searched for the necklace, Peep and Cheep stole her magic broom. She was furious when the broom disappeared, for without it she was powerless. Where did she hide that blasted necklace? Hey! Come back here! No! Give me back my broom! There! All her evil magic is gone. She won't cause trouble for anyone ever again. Wait! You can't just leave me up here. Don't worry. Sullen will keep you company. Won't you, Sullen? Oh, I suppose. But I won't show her reflection. That's sure to give me a headache. With the witch safely trapped in the tower, no one in the kingdom had to be afraid of her ever again. Rapunzel and Prince Galen rode away together. And, as you might expect, they lived happily ever after. Wasn't that a wonderful story? What would you like to do now?